welcome to the presentation of MPC Beats. This plugin is based on the beat making software based on the legendary MPC. When you install MPC Beats, you have already 2 GB worth of content. This includes samples, loops and even instruments to start and build your sound. You just have to plug a MIDI controller and start to play and create. Inside the plugin, we have a few different sections, all with their importance. Starting with the browser. You can use the browser to load expansions, samples, projects or other sounds. You can also use this area to show project info, notes or even do some history by clicking the icons at the bottom of the window. In here we can select what sample pack or what template we want to start with. In this case I chose the basic template and we can already start creating with this. We have a bunch of different sounds and we can experiment with all these 16 knobs. These are called the cue links. This section allows you to control the different parameters and control the ability to change your sequence. If we scroll to the right, we have different samples that we can change to each pad. At the left of the plugin, we have what it's called the channel strips. This is used to make changes to the volume, panning, routing, or insert other programs, pads, tracks, and even the master channel. And you can change each level as easy as dragging each of the volume further down. Finally, we have the inspector. The inspector is used to quickly make changes to the sequence track and program. To start recording, all you have to do is click the record button and press play in your DAW. Here you can see you have two windows, one with the buzz of the drums and the instruments and above you have the piano roll for each section. Here you can adjust everything to make it your own. We have different sections up in here. We can choose to view our track, to edit our program as I said before to sample edit so we can tweak each of the samples we use with these knobs right here. We can choose where to start, where to end, if it loops or not. We can shop it as well and even program it. We have the pad mixer, where we can mix each and every sound we use on our, on our composition. Up here in this section, we have some important definitions of the projects. For instance, we start with a metronome, where we can turn it on or off. We also have the swing and the amount of swing we want to add to our track. And all of those options are connected with your bass options on your DAW. 
So if we want to change the BPM, for instance, we have to change it on our DAW. Down here, we have different options to change the UI of the plugin. So we can open the file browser, the expansion browser, the media browser. We can also undo history, as I said before. We can open up project notes. This is useful if you want to add a note or even your title or artist name. The project info. This is where all the samples and sequences are placed. The help button, which lets you open a PDF with all the files and information about this plugin. Or if you don't like reading that much, you can also watch the videos. Here in the left, you have a MIDI keyboard, which you can open if you want to see how each note is being played. The bottom panel, where you can see other pads, project info, and everything you need to make your sequence and composition the best you can. And we can also hide, or we can also hide or make appear the audio channel. I hope this explanation made you understand a little bit more about the MPC Beats plugin by Akai. And if you like this video, please leave a like. Until the next video.